Howdy, 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 my darling Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Gemini, we're going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading for July 2022. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, all right, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards are resonate and how so I can keep up with you guys, Gemini. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it's completely free to do, darling, and it helps out this channel a lot. Why not be part of the family, right, uh, Gemini? So be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign uh, so you can get the full understanding of what's going on with your life in specific, Gemini. That's how you make these YouTube general tarot readings work out to the best of your favor, darling. All right. So Gemini, we're going to be doing three rows for you, darling. We're going to be getting into career and financial for you for July, as well as your social life. This could be romantic, platonic, what have you, darling. And then this, the next third row will be about predictions. All right. We're going to pull the three initial throws and then get into clarifying after darling all right so starting out with your career darling gemini i see nothing but good things for you here darling all right you have the ten of wands the justice energy with the two of swords darling all right y'all are finally making the choice gemini and cutting out the fat all right back of the deck is the six of wands and then what is revealed after is the seven of swords y'all are choosing to cut out the fat y'all are making the choice gemini and to stop making your life so complicated Stop, uh, no longer making your life so complicated darling and just making the choice and cutting off the burdens all right i feel like for many of you guys as well gemini um you're either making more time for a project to give you to give it a chance to make money in your life or i feel like for others of you gemini you have been working like a dog for a very beautiful payout right maybe you've been working on some type of project right maybe you've been doing research on how to like open up an etsy business like something right and and I feel as if July is going to be the month that you launch yourself. This is like, yeah, this is your launching month, Sagittari uh, Sagittarius. Why am I calling you Sagittarius, Gemini? Hello? <laughs> Maybe you're, you are you might be having some Sagittarius in your chart. If that's the case, check them out. But I also could just be human and slipping up. But um, yeah, Gemini, I feel like things are going to be really solid for you when it comes to your career. The Six of Wands is a card of fame and fortune, victory, darling, all right? So whatever projects you put out, all right, whether or whether you choose to put out your resume out to places, it's received in a very positive light, uh, Gemini. It's received in a very positive light. So I really want to be suggesting for you guys to just put yourself out there now. You've done the research, darling. Now it's to balance it out with some action here. All right, Gemini, what projects are y'all working on? What is it that y'all have been sitting on for a while now, Gemini? Getting more and more information, but never taking action on. All right. What are you? This is like your debut month. That's what it is. That's the perfect word for it. You're debuting in July, darling. All right. And it seems to be pretty positive. The crowd loves you gemini the crowd loves you so now darling let's get into your social life here ace of wands ace of swords the full energy okay darling your social life seems to be pretty spicy darling all right some of you guys are asking the question on if it's if someone is worth it it's like more so like a yes or no question right you're asking if this person is if it's worth putting more energy into this person essentially or not when you have two aces coming in two or more aces coming in as a tarot reader uh gemini that's usually a green sign to go ahead and doing something here and then especially because of this eight of pentacles in the back of the deck darling this is a card of up leveling i feel as if your relationships are the one the ones that you invest into uh gemini are the ones that are going to blossom into something more all right i feel like for many of you gemini's for especially for my singles this is gonna mm, let me pull that back now let's not make it romantic i feel like in general for you gemini's those who choose to actively engage with the people that they feel like engaging with you know let me just say this right gemini because i'm getting shown like this scenario where it's just like you're just scrolling through instagram and you just found someone's content that you really just enjoy that you want to be friends with them that you want to talk to them i feel like by you choosing to follow in those passions all right that begins something very beautiful for you all right july not only is a month for you to be debuting your talents um debuting your company or whatever that is for you in your career uh gemini but july is also going to be the month that you are debuting yourself to other people excuse me i'm trying not to like burp and <laughs> and yell the air 
but um yeah things are very much so elevating for you uh gemini i feel like you're attracting a higher caliber of persons right and it's through you like you're attracted to them and by you shooting your shot with them all right that's what starts something beautiful something like beginning a new storyline for you and another person here whether it's in a romantic way or a platonic way i feel like it's more so friendships for a lot of you uh gemini's because i felt so like it's not as if i was correcting myself like when i said uh singles and it's gonna make it romantic i was like intuitively i was like Pull, being pulled back from that so i was just like yeah i feel like for many of you guys you guys are going to be making some good platonic connections uh in the month of july so gemini going into your predictions we already had one card flying out here the judgment card coming in here all right this is a pretty impactful card in and of itself here you guys for my gemini's i've been ask, asking their spiritual team to assist them with something it's going to be coming into uh, manifestation this month in july here or you're going to be starting to see signs of spirit actively honoring this wish this desire that you have um that you've been asking for them all right that's what i always associate that judgment energy with that's all you have the judgment with the justice energy there all right things are balancing out for you in the month of july here all right i feel as if you're going to be able to finally catch your bearings all right feels as if the world's going to be starting to feel more at balance right where it's just like the good win and evil loses i don't know why i felt drawn to like use that analogy you have the four of wands coming in as well as even if you as lost as some of you gemini's might feel at this time gemini all right y'all are on the right path here you are not going to be alone in your journey all right even if it feels like it right now you have the four of wands you're going to be you're going to be all right all right you're going to be making some big forward moves this month in july towards getting closer to um your soul's purpose towards getting uh in better alignment alignment with what it is that you personally want to do and i feel as if that become that happens from uh the connections that you develop here yeah wheel of fortune and then we have the world card coming in here and then right afterwards the devil card coming in here from the back of the deck here yeah, Gemini, I see what's going on here. So this is a main message. Well, just as something that I want to be telling you guys. I don't feel as if any old energy blesses you. Gemini, I'm going to be honest here. Can I be honest? Like, I don't feel like any old energy blesses you. I don't feel like so in any capacity. I'm not seeing any type of past energy um, coming in here. I feel like this is all about, I mean, other than your career, for those that have been building up a long-term project, like, that's about it. All right. Anything else? Like, I don't see, like, don't be entertaining any ex friendships, ex relationships coming back in. Don't be entertaining old jobs or anything like that in the month of July, because they are going to be asking. They are going to be going forward to you, Gemini, trying to get a piece. But you just want to be rejecting it, Gemini. I'm noticing here none of your cards talk about the past at all. In fact, really, you end up making the choice with this two of swords really to go into a new path here you're you're surrounding yourself with new energy and you're being attracted to like you yourself your taste you're being you, you're being drawn to new energies here all right gemini so don't be entertaining old energies so let's get more clarification for your career with that justice ten of wands and two of swords now that we brought that up knight of swords tower energy six of swords coming in here yep this is the me this is the affirmation darling all right this is the affirmation you guys are definitely walking away <clears throat> from old energy here all right <clears throat> what i feel for you guys and then in the back of the deck here we have the sun energy what i see happening for you guys here is like putting something out there and just letting it be gemini that's what i need that's what i feel like for your career that needs to happen it's just like because it's like you have like this baby you have like this idea there's something like you're playing it safe or being very protective about something because you want it to be the perfect circumstances before you do something but this main message here for you gemini is just like just put it out there and just let it go just let it go because that's where the success happens the sun energy is the best card in the tarot deck here all right like for you that's how things start benefiting you you can't continue just sitting on these beautiful ideas you can't keep continuing playing on the sidelines when you're meant to be the quarterback 
uh, Gemini. All right. So where do like where do you need to be more of a quarterback in your life when it comes to your financial situation, darling, when it comes to your career? Taking a look, clarifying your social life here, darling. All right. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords with that full energy here. We have now clarifying it the four as well as the Queen of Pentacles with the Chariot energy. Back of the deck is the Two of Wands coming in here for you. All right. This is quite a message here, Gemini, for you in your social life. This is a direct message of the Queen of Pentacles isn't has intent towards going after what it is that she wants. She's like the epitome. The Queen of Pentacles is like the epitome of someone where it's just they can't conceptualize not a, a, a getting what it is that they want or achieving what it is that they want if they put their mind to it right if they invest their four pentacles into that and what i'm going to be saying again for you gemini's i feel like you're gonna you're going to be um if you choose to start off like reach out and be an extrovert with new connections coming into your life you're going to be developing to a very close like to a closeness with them very rapidly and it's with people that you feel personally really desired like you really want to engage with them right i feel as if there's a reason as to why you're feeling so called to reach out to certain people to try to be their friend or just whatever i mean whatever intentions you have darling how you doing right again not my business but i feel like for you gemini's there's a reason as to why spirit keeps talking about this personal craving that you have towards like shooting your shot with certain people and i feel like that's because and especially with those confirmation cards it's because you're feeling so drawn to them because there there's some type there's something more depthful like there's something beyond the surface level of being like oh i find you attractive there's something more spiritual to it and i'm not saying soulmate or twin flame honey i don't get that energy and i don't identify it in the first place but there's certain people that you're meant to be connecting with and you're feeling that drawing and they're like that pull towards them and they're going to be feeling that same natural pull to you as well the moment you reach out to them but it is essential for you to reach out to them darling all right and so getting into your predictions all right clarifying your predictions two of pentacles with the ace is pentacles as well and then the three of cups here all right don't this is yeah <laughs> gemini straight up is someone that you want to be friends with darling you can be friends with them put your mind towards it start taking action start stop stop being in your head gemini with juggling with the ideas of being like oh like this person's out of my league or just whatever all right get out of your head if you want to be friends with someone if you want to talk to them talk to them because there's something that you're going to be getting out of something like it's very like with the ace of pentacles like i don't know there's some you will not regret it for the month of july of being social i will say that gemini you will not regret being social in july and yeah i want to just leave it like that we're going to get into some oracle cards for you now darling gemini all right to wrap up your monthly tarot reading hopefully this tarot reading gave you some clarity something to look forward to darling all right your first oracle card is first quarter moon, quarter moon and leo darling being humble Ooh, being humble sometimes what being humble looks like is humbling yourself and how you see relationships how you see people sometimes humbling yourself is when you're realizing that you are adding more value to certain people because of certain accomplishments that they have because of the wealth that they have acquired and so that's why you it's hard for you to reach out to them that's sometimes humbling hum, sometimes humbling yourself is calling yourself out on how you're perceiving reality and it's not your intention gemini i feel as if for many of you guys you could easily sit down and tell me gemini I'd be like yeah like just because this person has more money in their bank account doesn't mean that they're more important or more valuable right most good people feel that way right and so that's part of the reason why i feel like some of you guys don't want to like engage with certain people is because it's just like oh why would they want to talk to me and then you have you call yourself out and be have that you call your thinking out while it stems from insecurity that insecurity only exists because of this view that needs to be humbled right so that goes really deep we could have a whole video on that but anyways gemini you have the full moon in leo going wild here right so two leo energies here with the moon going wild and being humble here right so that's what this that's literally what the humbling happens like it doesn't make sense to humble yourself being too egotistical and then the spirit telling you to go wild it's humbling yourself in the perspective that you how you see humans and by humbling yourself it actually takes away insecurity oh girl that's like a deep subject isn't it Ugh. 
And then we have the last moon in Aries here, Gemini. Work through your feelings. Okay, Gemini. This just, these Oracle cards said what they needed to say, darling. I don't think I need to pull any more tarot cards here. All that fire energy, honey. Um, I love you so much, Gemini. Hopefully you found this tarot reading helpful for you, this monthly reading. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private reading with me, Gemini, remember my website's linked down below, Simply Velka. Dot com. Next to my social media is TikTok and Instagram. If you want to connect with me on a more intimate level, they're available. Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. All right. I also do weekly tarot readings every single week for your Zodiac sign, Gemini. So hopefully I can see you in one of those videos. But until next time, I love you so much, darling. Bye, Gemini.